All right, so now let's export. Let's export all and take this. And now we're going to dump this within our Unity area. Notice I developed him something somewhere else, so you know he doesn't make a mess. You know when you're when you're working with Maya files and Photoshop files, you can easily make a mess of the situation by uh, using the same folder in the same place, and then you're having all these assets that you don't really need anyway. So that's why I developed him outside the box. And what I'm looking for is objects. And I'm going to make a new folder in here called Soldier. And it doesn't look right. Oh. And I need an FBX. So I'm going to export that out. And it's already scaled up pretty good, but I'm going to use millimeters. See the scale factor of 10? I want to use that, so export it out. You should always update your FPX exporter, by the way. You know, if you go to alias or autodesk.com, you can find the newer version of FPX exporter. I think I covered that in like video two or something like that. But in case you're, in case you're just coming onto the sequence of videos, you know, I would definitely look back at the setup and everything else and see what. FBX version I'm using. Uh, the newest one is the most preferred one. So let's go to Unity and find out what kind of heck this really caused. Okay, so there's my character just as I left them. You know, now my enemy is kind of, you know, he's there, but I, I don't really want to use him anymore. So what I'm going to do is not totally get rid of him. I'm just going to turn him into a prefab, and I can call him up later if I needed to. Prefab, um, test enemy. Okay, and then I can dump him into just like that, and then I can totally get rid of him if I needed to. So anytime I want to call him out now, he's a prefab. It's a great way to keep assets around. This cube is going to be totally in my way. And I'm probably going to end up switching the character player to the other side. Because this is such an easier way to script this character with the A and D. But if I was going to look for a lerp situation... I would want the natural state of being within on to the right hand side because that is positive x. Now I'm dealing with rotations based upon positive x. Okay, and objects. Let's see if there is a soldier in here and let's see what I'm missing, if anything. Okay, I got soldier, good. I got materials, that's also good. And if you see, I am missing uh, materials on the soldiers, okay? So that's bad. So that means what I have to do is kind of take a few seconds here. And again, I would prefer TIFFs or, or PNGs, but I'm going to use TIFFs for right now. And let's see if I can grab all these without it coming up with some window. There we go. There we go. I was just doing something weird. All right. So let's copy this. And I'm going to place this within uh, the new Mac hard drive, users, shared, and then throw it into my Unity under the Rotate Tool, Assets, Standard Assets, Objects, Soldier, and I might put it in with the materials. That way they're all in one place. 
and I can already see those were huge. Like, let's look at the, the texture resolution of these. Uh, 13 megabytes. So, you know, that's saying a lot right there. It's saying, hey, you should take the time to open these up. Open with Photoshop. And we're going to have to reduce the quality down a little bit to a PNG and make it a real like 1024 by 1024. Okay, so now I got this one, this one, this one, and these are my older files, so I'm just gonna clean this up and show you the the workflow needed for this. There's my squirrel. I don't need to save him. All right, so here, here's how it works. Uh, we have to pick a resolution, and right now these are 15, 1583 by 1583, so we're gonna start using 1024 by 1024. So that's step one for each one. And then afterwards, we save it as a PNG and then hit save and none. So repeat that process over and over and you should be okay let's see here. Here's another faster way to do it. Constrain proportions 1024 and then hit okay and file save as PNG. Okay, so that obviously takes no brains whatsoever. So I'll meet you in the next video where we have our all our PNGs and we start mounting them onto the character before we import them into the game.